Welcome back, ladies and gents, boys and girls, to Football Collectibles South Coast. You are once again here in the company of Simon from Football Collectibles South Coast here on our YouTube channel. And today we have got a binder update from the Match Attacks Extra 2020-2021 collection. So we're doing really well, progressing really well with it. It's pretty much there, apart from the limited editions, obviously. That's normally the way. Uh, but again, a massive, massive thank you to the guys at Tops for sending us out all the, the, the sort of main collection really it wasn't for the what they've sent us would be uh, very far from nearly complete so again a massive massive thank you uh, to the guys at tops for their support uh, they've shown my channel uh, so yeah let's jump into the video make sure to smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you are new let's do it <music> all right and so as i said match tax extra 2020 2021 Binder update time. So let's get into it. Obviously, the collection itself, you know, absolutely stunning, in, in my opinion. Brilliant. Knocked it out of the park again. Uh, little things I would change. Um, again, personal opinions. Um, so if you could disagree or anything like that, do drop comments down below or anything like that. You know, tell me what you think. Love to hear what people say. Uh, and just want to bear in mind the cutoff date for this collection was the 2nd of November, so really early, really. Um, I think only a few of the games in the Champions League group stages at that point had only been played. Um, so yeah, some question, questionable uh, entries really, but we'll talk through that as we go through it. Um, so again, awesome, awesome design on the front covers, as they always are really with any, any match stats collection, stunning. Awesome stuff. Um, yeah, so it goes in pretty much uh, English teams first. As in order, uh, so we start with Liverpool, then go into Man City. So squad update card, so uh, quite a few for the English teams. Uh, Man United being the most, they've got six uh, squad update cards. So again, it's you know players that have come into the teams. Obviously Lingard, again, you know, yes, questionable. He's not there anymore, but again, uh, on the second of November, he was still at Man United. So you can't really fault them for that. You know, they've got to get this into print and everything like that, which is fair enough. Uh, Tottenham, Arsenal. Celtic and Rangers, obviously Celtic didn't even make the kind of qualifying stages, uh, really. Um, I know the Europa League logo, same with Rangers. Uh, but again, you know, it is what it is. Obviously Rangers still doing really well uh, in the uh, Europa League, still there. I think they're still there. Or did they get knocked out? I'm sure they're still there. I can't remember. I don't know. Um, yeah, and then we move into some of the other teams. So we've got Real Madrid there with only two. We've got Barcelona with three. Uh, also, we've got a Pedri card in there for him. Um, then you're sort of going into the other one. So, you've got Sevilla. Um, who else have we got? Then into your Italian team. So, we've got a few uh, familiar faces. Obviously, with Chris Small in there. Uh, AC Milan, Bayern Munich, um, and then RB Leipzig. Uh, PSG, we've only one squad update. Uh, Ajax, we've got two Benfica uh, and Port. Porto is that? Yeah, Porto there uh, as well with another one. Um, so that's really the kind of what I would call base set really um, of update cards. Then we go into captains. Now again, one thing I don't like is this. One card from a subset on one page. Annoying. Put another squad update in and then bang, we're into a double page spread. We are on a double page spread anyway, but again, it's just one card. Again, it goes over to another page. Again, it's little things, you know, a, a binder layout, uh, in my opinion, is quite a, a big part of the collection. Uh, if the binder layout looks good, happy. Who's it was not happy with a good binder layout? Uh, again, don't get me wrong, it still looks good. The cards, captain cards, awesome. Like the design, really good subset. So yeah, really pleased with those. But it's just the layout that gets to me. Away kits, obviously normally feature. Uh, in the extra collection, so again, nice to see those. Uh, some different kits, again, some awful kits. The Man United one there is horrendous. The Juventus one is horrendous. Uh, one of the best ones, or the best one, in my opinion, is the Ajax away kit for this season. That's lush. Yeah, if I had 60 quid to purchase that, I'd, I'd get one. Um, so yeah, that's where we finish with those ones. And we're going to Time to Shine again. Uh, you know... <sighs> Difficult, obviously, there's only so many teams that they can put away kits into. But again, you know, maybe give a couple more players a time to shine card, just so it kind of, we've not got the overlapping of the of the subsets, really. Just, it's a little bugbear of mine. Uh, so yeah, I really like the time to shine cards. I think this is the first time they've featured. Um, so again, young players, you know, they're not, 
You know, they've not got the rookie logo on or anything like that, which is nice to see. You know, Tops could have easily banged a, a rookie card logo onto these and people buying them, selling them for stupid amounts of money. Um, but again, it's a nice card, simple design, looks really effective and looks really nice as well. Uh, and again, then we go into your top speed talents. Again, just goes over the page really with that one. Uh, but again, a nice new addition. Uh, I think uh, it's kind of a stat taken from the kind of Champions League effectively from their stat statisticians, whatever, however you say it, uh, on their kind of speeds throughout the game. So again, a really nice addition. And I think my favourite ones definitely are these action highlight cards. Really nice. It's taken from the games. The backgrounds look really good. Obviously, some of them don't have fans in. Most of them don't have fans in. Um, but yeah, they'd be really nice with fans in at the background as well in future. Uh, hopefully next season we'll see that. Um, so yeah, my, in my opinion, that is the best little subset uh, from the extra collection as well. So really nice uh, addition. Uh, and then again, I think these are new uh, for this collection as well, the match attacks extra sw position switch cards. So again, if you play the game, a really good feature. Um, you know, where you've got a player potentially that is an attacker or a defender and they change from attack to defense or defense to attack. Um, again, you know, in those sort of online games with the app, you occasionally need those sort of players. Um, you could be left with a defender, and that's all you've got. Um, and then the other team defends, but then bang, you've got an attacker to go back with. So yeah, really nice feature. Uh, and then they finish there with Guerrero. And then we go to the Mega Values. Again, we're still missing a couple of these now. This is where we kind of still missing a couple. So one there, uh, number five. But again, nice cheap versions again for the game, really for the online app. Uh, really good players for that price, what they are. I'm uh, missing another one up there. Uh, and then that's those finished. Then we go into the ballers. Uh, again, missing a couple. So we've got two here we're missing uh, and one there. So again, really nice subset, really nice design. Again, maybe a little bit of variation. I know they are a little bit varied, but just with the colours, but a little bit. A little bit more variation, just wouldn't go amiss in the subsets uh, with this kind of shinies. Then we go to the mana matches, exactly the same as the main collection again, which is a little disappointing. Uh, again, you know, mix up the designs. I know they're not going to rewrite the rule book with it all, but again, just something little different. I know they are different, they are kind of speckled, uh, but again, we're missing a couple of these still. Uh, so again, still some more to pick up uh, in future openings. Um, and then we finish with our hat-trick heroes. Again, only two of these in this collection. That's so Darwin Nunes and Marcus Rashford. We've got both of those. And we've got all the signature styles. And again, this is a really big plus feature for me in this collection. Just adds a bit of, um, what's the word? A bit of really quality to it. Um, a real collector's piece, really, that you'll want to get these. And they're not difficult to find. Um, yes, we've been lucky with what tops have sent us and we found them all in these, but again, if you're buying packs and multi-packs, you are going to get these. They're not exactly difficult to find. Um, and again, it just, it's nice. You know, you've got a potent, you've got a signed card, effectively. Yes, it's printed, it's not written on, but it's their signature, it's signed. So again, a nice feature uh, to have. And we're going to 100 clubs, still missing a couple of these. We're missing uh, to Stegen, uh, Upper Meccano, I think is one. Uh, Hakimi is another one we're missing uh, and then Son and Muller uh, are our two attackers that we're missing and and then we we haven't opened the um, the match tax mega tin yet with the super skill stars in um, so we haven't done that yet we've still got that to open on the channel so keep an eye out for that bad boy video coming in the near future um, so we'll be getting into that subset and then we go into our limited editions so again we're doing superb with the limited editions got the mason greenwood blue uh, again if you've not seen the video check it out i'll leave it linked in the end uh, where we got that again i think at the time of filming of this video i think it is still available on tops.com again apologies if it's not but i believe it is obviously kevin de bruyne within the starter pack uh, gold silver and bronze of Aubameyang from the mini tins gold silver and bronze of Jaden sancho from the multi-packs again if you haven't checked out those videos uh, check out check them out why not Get them watched. Uh, and we've also got the bronze Harry Kane, um, which we picked up in our box break. So uh, we obviously get the gold Harry Kane in the super skill tin and the silver is available in the latest match of the day magazine as well. So if you haven't got that, go out and grab that so you guarantee you'll get that. Uh, and um, Suarez, we haven't got any of his yet. 
so that's disappointing. Uh, De Bruyne and Suarez are available at tops.com uh, for all theirs, or obviously in lucky packs. Uh, so fingers crossed we might get one. We have got another box break to do, so hopefully we get a Sanchez, a Suarez, or a, a, a De Bruyne in there. Um, and we've got a bit of space left. If we do find any shirt relic cards or any of the autograph cards, we haven't found any yet. Uh, again, we've only done four of the mini tins. We didn't find any shirt relics in those. Uh, and again, I've not been able to find any in local supermarkets near me. Um, they're like uh, unicorn poo uh, and can't get any. Um, so it is what it is. People are obviously going in early and getting them as soon as they're in stock and whatever they're doing to find them, ripping them open, you know, it's not it's not the best, but obviously you've got, you can only do what you can do. So we will try and get a couple of Reddit cards if we can do. Uh, again, uh, collection's only a couple of weeks old really, so fingers crossed they've not chucked all the Reddit cards in straight away and there'll be more to pick up uh, in the future. So yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, binder update done. Uh, an awesome collection overall. A few little minor errors. Um, tweaks and things like that that I, that I would change but overall can't fault it um, and again gold silver and bronze and limited editions you know they do look good when they're done um, again they brought the blue and the emerald Harry Kane although that's a different story in itself I won't go into that um, but yeah it's fingers crossed hopefully maybe for next season's main match tax collection we may see a move away from gold silver and bronze fingers crossed uh, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, really appreciate you taking the time to watch uh, our video as always. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button for the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links in the description to the Tops website and to our Instagram page. Um, but yeah, until the next one, it's cheers.